There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. Hagrid, at last. And where did you get that motorbike? Borrowed it, Professor Dumbledore, sir. No problems, were there? No, sir. House was almost destroyed, but I got him out all right. Nestled in the bundle was a baby. Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful Aunt Petunia, Uncle Vernon, and Cousin Dudley, the Dursleys. Then, one day, he received a letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Told you, didn't I, Harry? Told you you was famous. Professor Quirrell. Harry, Professor Quirrell will be one of your teachers at Hogwarts. Potter, can't tell you how pleased I am to meet you. What sort of magic do you teach, Professor Quirrell? D -d Defense against the dark arts. Not that you need it, eh, Potter? You'll be getting all your equipment, I suppose. I I've got to pick up a new book on vampires myself. Must get on, lots to buy. Come on, Harry. Three up, two across. Right, stand back, Harry. Welcome to Diagon Alley. Just your wand left from Ollivanders. Oh yeah, and I still haven't got your birthday present. Hello? Good afternoon. Ah, yes. Yes, yes. I thought I'd be seeing you soon, Harry Potter. You have your mother's eyes. It seems only yesterday she was in here herself, buying her first wand. Ten and a quarter inches long, swishy, made of willow. Nice wand for charm work. Your father, on the other hand, favored a mahogany wand. Well, I say your father favored it. It's really the wand that chooses the wizard, of course. Well now, Mr. Potter, let's get started, shall we? If you'll kindly follow me. Have a look around, Mr. Potter. When you find a wand you like, pick it up. And let's see if it likes you. Curious. I remember every wand I've ever sold, Mr. Potter. Every single wand. It so happens that the phoenix, whose tail feather is in your wand, gave another feather. Just one other. It is very curious indeed that you should be destined for this wand when its brother Why, its brother gave you that scar. Yes. Curious indeed how these things happen. The wand chooses the wizard, remember? I think we must expect great things from you, Mr. Potter. After all, he who must not be named did great things. Terrible, yes. Yeah. But great. Please retrieve the spell book that lies beyond. It will prove most valuable in all that lies ahead.
Over here, Mr. Potter. Oh, bravo. Yes, indeed. Oh, very good. Well done, Mr. Potter. Once you learn some more powerful magic, you'll be able to cast more powerful Flipendo knockback jinxes. If you'd kindly follow me. These three large shields on the far wall can be flipped using your Flipendo knockback jinx. Flip them in the correct order. Before continuing, it may be wise to collect the Folio Bruti. These imps can be a nuisance. Try knocking them over with Perpendo, then pick them up and lock them in the cages. Done, Mr. Potter. <laughs> With the knowledge contained in this book, you'll be able to cast more powerful spells. Here's a helpful hint from the book just for you. Build up the power on your wand, but be careful. Don't overpower your spells, or you could end up in a sort of trouble. Done, Mr. Potter. If you'd kindly follow me. Hey, Harry. Happy birthday, Harry. She's beautiful. What's her name? Her name's Hedwig, and she's yours to keep. Thanks, Hagrid. We best be going now. The Hogwarts Express is leaving very soon, and you don't want to miss it. The train slowed right down and finally stopped. They followed Hagrid down to the edge of a great black lake. The fleet of little boats moved off all at once, gliding across the lake which was as smooth as glass. Everyone was silent until... Ooh, wicked! One by one, each of the first years was sorted into his or her house. And what of Harry Potter? Not Slytherin! Not Slytherin! Not Slytherin, eh? Are you sure? You could be great, you know. It's all here, in your head. Now? Well, if you're sure, let it be Gryffindor! Hey, Harry! Hello! I'm Ron Weasley. I'm in Gryffindor, too. It's no surprise, really. All my brothers are in Gryffindor. So, why do you think Professor Dumbledore put the third for House of Bounds? I really don't know. We've got to follow that prefect. It's odd, because he usually gives us a reason why we're not allowed to go somewhere. I do think he might have told us prefects at least. 
That prefix, Percy, my other brother. How many brothers have you got? Too many. My name's Hermione Granger, by the way. And you are? Uh, Ron. Ron Weasley. Pleasure. You've got something on your nose. Huh? You must be Harry Potter. I know all about you, of course. Look out! Filch is coming! We'd better go! Gryffindors, follow me, please. Keep up. Come on, Harry. We'd better follow Percy up to the Gryffindor common room. Keep up, please, and follow me. Quickly now, come on. Peeves, a poltergeist. <laughs> Go away, Peeves, or the Baron will hear about this. I mean it. You want to watch out for Peeves? The bloody Baron's the only one who can control him. He won't even listen to us prefects. Gather round here. Password? You need a password to enter the common room. This year, it's Caput Draconis. Caput Draconis. Well done, young Gryffindor. That is indeed the correct password. Thanks, Harry. Caput Draconis. Hey Harry, Fred and George just set up a shop. You can trade all kinds of things with them for spells and really wicked stuff. Wow, I must go and see them. Where are they? Go through that door and through the reading room. There's a portrait on the other side. What's the password? Pig snouts. Oh, and watch out for Percy. He hates being disturbed when he's studying. You'll need to stay out of his way. If you're careful, you should be able to creep past him. Hello Harry. We were wondering when you'd turn up. Welcome to our shop. Feel free to browse our extensive range of wizard weezes and magical merchandise. Everything priced at reasonable rates in the only currency universally accepted throughout Hogwarts. Bertie Bott's Every Flavor Beans. And as a special bonus, for just 10 beans you can have a dip into this chest and receive a special prize. Wow, I've got to try this. It sounds like fun, yes. But then, you haven't put your hand in yet. Have a good look around, Harry. And if you want to buy anything, just ask. Okay, Harry. It's been a long day. I'm really tired, and I'm off to bed. Morning, Harry. You know what class we've got first? It's potions, Harry. Ron can show you the way. Have you seen this notice board? I'm sure if you can find some of these missing things, you'll be rewarded. Hello, Ron. It's potions first, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's down in one of the dungeons. Follow me, Harry. Welcome to Hogwarts. Hogwarts has four houses. They are Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw and Slytherin. The hourglasses show which house has the greatest number of house points on any day. While you're here, your house will be like your family. Your triumphs will earn you points. Any rule breaking and you will lose points. At the end of the year, the house with the most points is awarded the House Cup. And let me tell you, it's about time Gryffindor won. Please try and remember, only prefects and teachers can award house points. And they can also take them away. Come on, Harry. Better get moving. Potions is in the dungeons. We don't want to be late. Double potions with the Slytherins. Snape's head of the Slytherin house. They say he always favours them. We'll be able to see if it's true. It's true, then. Harry Potter's come to Hogwarts. 
This is Crab, and this is Goyle, and my name is Malfoy. Draco Malfoy. <coughs> Think my name's funny, do you? No need to ask yours. Red hair, and a hand-me-down robe. You must be a Weasley. You'll soon find out that some wizarding families are better than others, Potter. You don't want to go making friends with the wrong sort. I can help you there. I think I can tell who the wrong sort are for myself, thanks. Buzz off, Potter! You are here to learn the subtle science and exact art of potion-making. As there is little foolish wand-waving here, many of you will hardly believe this is magic. I don't expect you will really understand the beauty of this softly simmering cauldron with its shimmering fumes, the delicate power of liquids that creep through human veins, bewitching the mind, ensnaring the senses. I can teach you how to bottle fame, brew glory, even stop a death. If you aren't as big a bunch of dunderheads as I usually have to teach, today you will learn how to mix a Wigan Weld healing potion. I want you all to collect the following three ingredients. Asphodel, Dittany, Wigan Tree Bark. Failure will be severely punished. The groundskeeper, Hagrid, may be able to help you with the first ingredient. Make sure you have these ingredients for your next potions lesson. It's Defense Against the Dark Arts with Professor Quiddle next. Class dismissed. We need to collect all those ingredients in time for the next potions lesson. We've got Defense Against the Dark Arts on the third floor now. G good day, class. Today we are going to have a most illuminating experience when we l learn the wand lighting spell. You must. Not only can this light be used to illuminate dark areas, b b but it is also used to reveal s secrets. Lumos is also a useful spell to use against spectral beasts, such as guy trashes and g g ghosts, provided you b b bathe them in the light from your wand. To learn the s spell, you must each enter the s spell challenge. N n n n how about you first? <laughs> Potter, your turn. The Lumos spell book is located on the other side of the crawl space. Find it and the spell will be yours. You must then return here to the class. Good one, Harry. I'll give that a b b b. 
that's all for t -t today. Class dismissed. I'll show you where the flying lesson is. Follow me. Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon, Ambridge. Welcome to your first flying lesson. Well, what are you waiting for? Everyone step up to their broomsticks. You see before you a course comprising enchanted rings. What you must do is to fly through as many of these rings as possible in the correct order. Are you ready, Potter? Begin! Right. Now for the examination, where a grade will be awarded depending on how well you complete the course. An outstanding display, Mr. Potter. You receive the highest grade. A distinction. Well done. If you want to practice flying, Mr. Potter, come over here. Well done, Mr. Potter. You've earned your house a few points there. Longbottom, your turn. Whoa! Oh! Mi Mr. 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 Longbottom. Oh dear, it's a broken wrist. Come on now, it's all right, up you get. None of you are to move while I take this boy to the hospital wing. Come oh. on, dear. Did you see his face? Maybe if the fat lump had given this a squeeze, he would have remembered to fall on his fat backside. Give it here, Malfoy. No, I think I'll leave it somewhere for Longbottom to find. How about on the roof? What's the matter, Potter? Bit beyond your reach? Give it here, Malfoy, or I'll knock you off your broom. Can't you fly that broom, Potter? Don't think this is the last of it, Potter. I'd take you on any time on my own. Tonight, if you want. Wizard's Duel? What's the matter? Never heard of a Wizard's Duel? Of course, yes. I'm his second. Meet me tonight on the fourth floor. Wands only. No contact. Dear Harry, would you like to come and have a cup of tea with me this afternoon? I want to hear all about your first day, Hagrid. Hagrid's bound to be in his hut. Come on, Harry, follow me. Make yourselves at home. This is Ron. Another Weasley, eh? <laughs> I spent half my life chasing your twin brothers away from the forest. Hey, Ron. Somebody broke into Gringotts. Listen, believed to be the work of dark wizards or witches unknown, Gringotts goblins, while acknowledging the breach, insist nothing was taken. The vault in question, number 713, had been emptied earlier that very same day. That's odd. That's the vault that Hagrid and I went to. Hagrid, I need to collect some ingredients for potions class. Do you know a good place to find plants in the school grounds? I have a lot of strange things growing out near my garden. You're welcome to go take a look. Be careful, mind. Wouldn't go wandering round at night. Then again, there's some pretty fearful things round here during the day. There you go. Be careful, Harry. People only die in proper jewels. You know, with real wizards. The most you and Malfoy will be able to do is send sparks at each other. Neither of you knows enough magic to do any real damage. I bet he expected you to refuse anyway. If he tries to curse you, you'd better dodge it. Because I can't remember how to block them. Half past eleven, we'd better go. I can't believe you're going to do this, Harry. Phew! Go back to bed. Come on. Don't you care about Gryffindor? Do you only care about yourselves? I don't want Slytherin to win the House Cup. 
and you'll lose all the points I got from Professor McGonagall for knowing about switching spells. Go away! All right, but I warned you. You just remember what I said when you're on the train home tomorrow. You're so... Now what am I going to do? That's your problem. We've got to go. We're going to be late. I'm coming with you. Come on, Harry. We have to get moving. Follow me to the fourth floor. Over here, Potter. Brought reinforcements, have you? Good. They can watch you lose. Follow me and let's finish this. Huh? Bye-bye, Gryffindor. Ha ha ha! Looks like you've fallen into the Forbidden Corridor. It's a good job I let Professor Snape know. He'll be there any second now. Bye-bye. Malfoy! There's only one way out of here and it's locked. Do you know any spells that can unlock it? Well, as it happens, I do. It's the Alahamora unlocking spell, but I don't actually know how to cast it. However, I do remember reading somewhere that the Alahamora spellbook is kept in the library. I've heard there's a shortcut to the library down that corridor. You're going to have to find the Alahamora spellbook, Harry. Then come back here and get us out! Harry! Are you alright? Thank goodness that's over with. It isn't over yet. We still have to get back to the Gryffindor common room. Cast Alahamora at the door and it will open up. This way. Through this door, Harry. Quick, in here! That was close. Ron, what are you... at its feet. I was too busy with its heads. No, not the floor. It was standing on a trap door. It's obviously guarding something. What could possibly need such heavy protection? It's either really valuable or really dangerous. Or both. Well, it's going to have to wait. They're going to be late for charms class. Follow me, Harry. Good morning, class. Today's lesson will most assuredly involve learning how to cast the softening charm, Spongify. Once you have managed to collect the Spongify spellbook, the Spongify charm will be yours. You must then return here to the classroom. I'll give you a B. I have a message from Professor Snape. He wants to remind you all that your next potions lesson is coming up shortly and there will be house points deducted if any of you forget your ingredients. 
That is all for today. Class dismissed. Harry, you heard what Professor Flitwick said. We'd better get those ingredients of potions. Professor Snape, he doesn't want to teach potions. Everyone knows he's after Quirrell's job. Knows an awful lot about the dark art, Snape. I'll meet you at Hagrid. Hagrid, you know all about magical creatures. Do you know anything about that dog on the third floor? How do you know about Fluffy? Fluffy? Yeah, he's mine. Bought him off a Greek chappy I met in the pub last year. I lent him to Dumbledore to guard the... Yes? Um, never mind, that's top secret, that is. You forget that dog, and you forget what is guarding. That's between Professor Dumbledore and Nicholas Flamel. Nicholas Flamel? Why does that name sound familiar? I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. I think you'd better get your ingredients before it gets dark. Come on, Harry. The Halloween feast is about to begin. Let's get to the Great Hall. Where's Hermione? Pavati Patel said she wouldn't come out of the girls' bathroom on the second floor. She said that she's been in there all afternoon crying. Oh! In the dungeon! Oh! In the dungeon! Forty old Silence! Everyone will please not panic. Prefects will lead their house back to the dormitories. Teachers will follow me to the dungeons. I've just thought, Hermione, what about her? She doesn't know about the troll. How could a troll get in? Don't ask me. They're supposed to be really stupid. Can you smell something? I think the troll's left the dungeon. It's in the girls' bathroom! Ah! Hermione! Hermione, move! Help! Help! Is it dead? I don't think so. Just knocked out. Wicked! My goodness! Explain yourselves, both of you! Well, what it is? It's my fault, Professor McGonagall. Miss Granger! I went looking for the troll. I read about them and thought I could handle it. But I was wrong. If Harry and Ron hadn't come and found me, I'd probably be dead. Be that as it may, it was an extremely foolish thing to do. I would have expected more rational behavior on your part, and I am very disappointed in you, Miss Granger. Five points will be taken from Gryffindor for your serious lack of judgment. As for you two gentlemen, I just hope you realize how fortunate you are. Not many first-year students could take on a fully grown mountain troll and live to tell the tale. Five points will be awarded to each of you for sheer dumb luck. Perhaps you ought to, to go. Good of her to get us out of trouble like that. Mind you, we did save her from a full grown mountain troll. Thanks. What are friends for? That was exhausting, Harry. I'm off to bed. See you later. Hello, Hermione. Do you know what letter we've got first thing? It's potions, Harry. We've got to learn how to mix the Wigan World potion. I hope you've collected all of the ingredients. Follow me, Harry. You have collected all the required ingredients for the Wigan World Potion.
The Wigan Weld potion is in the large cauldron over there. You can fill your potion vial when required. Potter, where would you look if I told you to find me a bazaar? I don't know, sir. Thought you wouldn't open a book before coming, eh, Potter? For your information, Potter, a bazaar is a stone taken from the stomach of a goat, and it will save you from most poisons. A less powerful version of this is today's lesson. The antidote for common poisons. I want you all to collect the following three ingredients. Flobberworm mucus, pufferpod spores, and moon dew. Make sure you have these ingredients for your next potions lesson. It's a biology next, Harry. A biology greenhouse one is outside in the grounds. Come on, Harry. Professor Sprout's waiting for us inside. I've heard we have to watch out for the venomous tentacular. Today's lesson will involve learning how to cast a severing charm. The proper incantation for this charm is Defindo. You will see that a crawl space has been revealed in the wall. Beyond this is the Defindo challenge. Mr. Potter, if you wouldn't mind coming forward, please. The Defindo spellbook is located on the other side of the crawl space. Once you have managed to collect it, the Defindo charm will be yours. You must then return here to the classroom. Do you understand, Mr. Potter? Mr. Potter, you have successfully learned the Defindo charm. However, you do not yet have the required skills to take on a fully grown venomous tentacular. It is a fearsome thing, and its bite is quite poisonous. Please follow me. Well 
Well done. That effort deserves an A. That is all for today. Class dismissed. You too? Will you look at this? I've got some presents. What did you expect? Turnips? If that's what I think it is, they're really rare and really valuable. What is it? It's an invisibility cloak. I'm sure it is. Look, Hedwig is back. She has a message from Hermione. Read it, Harry. Merry Christmas, Harry. Merry Christmas, Ron. Ever since Hagrid mentioned Nicholas Flamel, I've been trying to find out who he is. I've been wondering for a while if information about Flamel isn't somewhere in the restricted section of the library. Unfortunately, you need a specially signed note from one of the teachers to look in any of the restricted books, and I know you'll never get one. I think there's a book called A Study of Recent Developments in Wizardry in there that might give us a clue to who he is. You will keep looking while I'm away, won't you? And send me an owl if you find anything. See you soon, Hermione. Come on, Harry. Hermione said we need to find that book. A study of recent developments in wizardry. In the restricted section of the library. I've heard there are books in the restricted section containing powerful dark magic never taught at Hogwarts. Harry. The book we're looking for is usually only read by older students studying advanced defense against the dark arts. I hope Madam Pince isn't in the library. Maybe you should try out the cloak. You'll be able to go in the restricted section without being seen. I'll meet you in the common room later. What? What have you been at midnight, you cool thirsty? Tut, tut, tut. Naughty, naughty. You'll get naughty. What's that you got there, Potter? Please, please. Let me see it. Give it here. It doesn't belong to you. It's called that, sir. Can you think what the mirror of Erised shows us all? It, well, it shows me my family. Let me give you a clue. The happiest man on earth would look into the mirror and see only himself exactly as he is. So then, it shows us what we want. Whatever we want. Yes, and no. It shows us nothing more or less than the deepest and most desperate desires of our hearts. You, Harry, you have never known your family. You see them standing beside you. But remember this, Harry. This mirror gives us neither knowledge nor truth. Men have wasted away in front of it, even gone mad. That is why, tomorrow, it will be moved to a new home. And I must ask you, 
not to go looking for it again. It does not do to dwell on dreams, Harry, and forget to live. I think I should take this for now, lest it get you into trouble. Now, why don't you get off to bed? I can't believe you two! If Filch had caught you! I checked that copy of A Study of Recent Developments in Wizardry you found in the restricted section. No mention of Nicholas Flamel. Shame about not finding him. Have some bacon or something. Why aren't you eating anything? It's charms class next. I've heard we're learning the incendio charm. I'm sure I've read Flamel's name somewhere. A bit early for now, isn't it? But I never get mail. Let's open it. It's a broomstick. That's not just a broomstick, Harry. It's a Nimbus 2000. But who? You'll be able to fly anywhere around the grounds. But try not to crash into too many of the towers. Harry, Charms class is on the second floor. I'll meet you there. I'm going to check another book later. Notable magical names of our time. Might have some mention of Flamel. Please find a seat, students. Good morning, class. Today's lesson will most assuredly involve learning how to cast the appositely named Bluebell Flames. The proper incantation for this charm is Incendio. Once you have managed to collect the Incendio Spellbook, the Incendio Charm will be yours. You must then return here to the classroom. In here, Harry. display, Mr. Potter. You receive the highest grade, a distinction. Well done. You've got to come to the common room quickly. What happened? Leg Leg lock lock us. Malfoy. Malfoy. I met him outside the library. He said he'd been looking for someone to practice that on. You're worth twelve of Malfoy. The sorting hat chose you for Gryffindor, didn't it? And where's Malfoy? His thinking Slytherin. Thanks, Harry. They can go to bed. Do you want the card? You collect them, don't you? <gasps> I found him! I found Flamel! Listen to this! Dumbledore is particularly famous for his defeat of the dark wizard Grindelwald in 1945, the discovery of the 12 uses of dragon's blood, 
and his work on alchemy with his partner, Nicholas Flamel. I knew the name sounded familiar. Dear Harry, I heard Professor Snape ask you to find some moon dew for your potions class. I can't believe he would ask such a thing. Moon dew only comes out at night and it's found deeper into the Forbidden Forest than is safe for a first year to go. Meet me in my garden tonight and I'll take you to where it grows. That way you'll be safe. Hagrid. Is that you, Harry? Hurry up. I want to get started. Right then. Now, listen carefully. Because it's dangerous what we're going to do tonight and I don't want no one taking risks. There's a unicorn in there being hurt badly by Summit. This is the second time in a week. I found one dead last Wednesday. Could a werewolf be killing the unicorns? Not fast enough. It's not easy to catch a unicorn. They're powerful magic creatures. I never knew one to be hurt before. And what if whatever hurt the unicorn finds us first? There's nothing that lives in the forest that'll hurt you. You're with me. Right then. Follow me. You all right there, Harry? The, the unicorn's dead, Hagrid. It's in that clearing back there. What was that thing? A monstrous creature. It is a terrible crime to slay a unicorn. Drinking the blood of a unicorn will keep you alive even if you are an inch from death. But at a terrible price. For you have slain something so pure that from the moment the blood touches your lips, you will have a half-life. A cursed life. But who would choose such a life? Can't you think of anyone? Some say he died. Cards fall up in my opinion. Don't know if he'd enough human left in him to die. Do you mean to say that that thing that killed the unicorn, that was drinking its blood, that was Voldemort? I'm saying nothing. Let's get going. You mean, you know who's out there, right now? In the forest. But he's weak. He's living off the unicorns. But if he comes back, you don't think he'd try to kill you, do you? I think if he'd have had the chance, he might have tried to kill me last night. And to think, I've been worried about my potions lesson. I've got to learn how to mix the antidote to common poisons. I hope you've collected all of the ingredients. have collected all the required ingredients for the antidote to common poisons. The antidote to common poisons is in the large cauldron over there. You can fill your potion vial when required. Quidditch against Slytherin today? Good luck, Potter. Then again, now that you've proven yourself against a troll, a little game of Quidditch should be easy work for you even if it is against my boys. That was... disturbing. I'll tell you what's disturbing. Snape smiling. Quidditch against Slytherin, eh? It'll really wipe the smiles of their faces if we win. Just as long as we're not wiping you off the field. Come on, Harry, follow me! Today, we're going to see Slytherin play Gryffindor in the last match of the year. Lee Jordan here commentating on what might turn out to be the game of the year. Slytherin versus Gryffindor. The two teams are pretty evenly matched, but only one will be the winner today. I'm sure everyone's been looking forward to this match. I know I have. Ah! Well, that's unfortunate. 
Unfortunate nothing. He's got the snitch. Well done, Harry. Harry! It was Snape. Hermione and I saw him. He was cursing your broomstick, muttering. He wouldn't take his eyes off you. I know a jinx when I see one. I've read all about them. We've got to go to Dumbledore. Come on, Harry, let's go. What are you three doing? We want to see Professor Dumbledore. See Professor Dumbledore? Why? It's sort of secret. Professor Dumbledore left ten minutes ago. He received an urgent owl from the Ministry of Magic and flew off for London at once. He's gone? Yes, Mr. Potter. Gone. And so should you be. Goodbye. I knew it! I knew it! I never thought to look in here. I got this out of the library weeks ago for a bit of light reading. This is light? Nicholas Flamel is the only known maker of the Philosopher's Stone. The what? Oh, honestly, don't you do read? Of course! Here it is! Nicholas Flamel is the only known maker of the Philosopher's Stone. The Philosopher's Stone is a legendary substance with astonishing powers. It will transform any metal into pure gold and produces the elixir of life, which will make the drinker immortal. Immortal? It means you never die. The only stone currently in existence belongs to Mr. Nicholas Flamel, the noted alchemist who last year celebrated his 665th birthday. No wonder we couldn't find Flamel in that A study of recent developments in wizardry book. He's not exactly recent if he's 665, is he? That's what Fluffy's guarding on the third floor. That's what's under the trap door. The Philosopher's Stone. Come on, Harry. We've got to stop Snape. A stone that makes gold and stops you from ever dying. No wonder Snape's after it. Snape doesn't want the stone for himself. He wants the stone for Voldemort. With the elixir of life, Voldemort will be strong again. He'll... he'll come back. What do we do? We go down the trap door. Tonight. Well, if that's what it's going to take, follow me to the third floor. Wait a minute. He's snoring. Look, it's obvious Snape's already got past Fluffy. If you two want to go back, don't be stupid. We're coming. Right then, I'll go first. Don't follow until I give a sign. If something bad happens, Get yourselves out. Does it seem a bit quiet to you? Yuck! What's this bloody stuff? Moses here to break the fall. Lucky it's here, really. Lucky? Ron! Ron, where are you? Over here, Harry! Don't worry, Ron. We'll rescue you. Just hold on. I know what this is. It's Devil's Snare. Oh! I'm so glad we know what it's called. That's a great help! Shut up! I'm trying to remember how to kill it. Well, hurry up! I can't breathe! Devil's Snare. Devil's Snare. What did Professor Sprout say? Dances in the dark, delights in the damp. Yes, of course. You have to cast Defindo to get rid of the tentacles and then use Incendio. Harry, you take that side and I'll take this side. Incendio! Thanks. Much appreciated. Oh, it was nothing. Lucky you pay attention in herbology, Hermione.
curious. I've never seen birds like these. They're not birds. They're keys. And I'll bet one of them fits that door. Alohomora! Well, it was worth a try. Oh, what are we going to do? There are hundreds of them. We're looking for a big old fashioned one. Probably gold. Like the handle. There, I see it. The one with the bright blue wings. Catch the key! He went on ahead. What? It's a chess challenge. He's better at chess than both of us. He should have waited. We're in this together. Let's go in, Harry. We need to make sure Ron's okay. Oh no! Ron! What if he's... He'll be alright. What do you think he's trying to do before he... I think we've got to destroy all the white pieces. I'll go. Be careful, Harry! Now what do I do? Looks like you're playing black. Step up to the black knight, Harry! I'm sure he'll be alright. Listen, you've got to get him to the hospital when... Then go straight to the Owlery and send Hedwig to Dumbledore. I might be able to hold off Snape for a while, but I'm no match for him, really. You're a great wizard, Harry Potter. You are, you know. I'm not as good as you are. Me? Books and cleverness? There are more important things. Friendship and bravery and... Oh, Harry, be careful! You! Snape! He was the... Yes, does seem the type, doesn't he? Next to him, who would suspect poor stuttering Professor Quirrell? But that day, during the Quidditch match, Snape tried to kill me. No, dear boy. I tried to kill you! And trust me, if Snape's cloak hadn't caught fire and broken my eye contact, I would have succeeded, even with Snape muttering his little counter-curse. Well, Snape's not here to save you now. Let's see if you're a match for these beautiful beasts. Come here, Potter! Now! Tell me, what do you see? What is it? What do you see? I... I'm shaking hands with Dumbledore. I... I've won the House Cup. He lies! Let me speak to him. Master, you are not strong enough. I have strength enough for this. Hurry, Potter! We meet again. Voldemort! Yes! You see what I've become? See what I must do to survive? Live off another, a mere parasite? Unicorn blood can sustain me, but it cannot give me a body of my own. But there is something that can, something that, conveniently enough, lies in your pocket. Stop him! Careful, Master. The mirror is protecting you. Ah! The 
mirror is reflecting your power back at you, Master. Wingardium Leviosa! Ah! What is this magic? Fool! Get the stone! As I understand it, the points stand thus. In fourth place, Hufflepuff. In third place, Ravenclaw. In second place, Slytherin. And in first place, Gryffindor. I have a few last minute points to dish out. Let me see. Ah, yes. First, to Mr. Ronald Weasley for the best played game of chess. Hogwarts has seen in many years. I award Gryffindor House ten points. Second, to Miss Hermione Granger for the use of cool logic in the face of fire. I award Gryffindor House ten points. Third, to Mr. Harry Potter for pure nerve and outstanding courage. I award Gryffindor House Ten points. The house cup ceremony will be starting soon. We should make our way to the Great Hall. Hermione's right, Harry. You don't want to miss this. We've got a real chance to beat Slytherin. Come on, Harry. Let's go. Yeah, I hope we've got enough house points to beat Slytherin. I'd really love to see Malfoy's face if we do it. The house point totals are being calculated. We come to the end of another most eventful year at Hogwarts. And so, for their many achievements and outstanding commitment to the school, it is with great pleasure that I present the House Cup to Gryffindor. <laughs>